We have breaking news to begin with tonight. With Monday's report, Southeast Texas has reached seven consecutive days of hospitalizations above the governor's 15% threshold. Jefferson County Judge Jeff Brannick received this notice from the state just moments ago. Now, this will force the region into new restrictions starting tomorrow morning. 12 News reporter Jordan James joins us live tonight. Now, he spoke with doctors and local officials about the impact these numbers will have on our region. Yeah, Dejanique, while the state's letter did not spell out everything exactly, we can look to other parts of the state who had to undergo rollbacks, things like bars going to to go only, businesses and restaurants dropping to 50%, all in an effort to curb the spread of COVID-19. 15%. That's the red zone earmarked by Governor Greg Abbott when it comes to an area's hospitalization rate. When hospitalizations are high, it means that the spread of COVID is excessive in a particular region and that corrective action is needed. Southeast Texas makes up trauma service area R, where the hospitalization rate has been above 15% for seven straight days. This rate will now lead to new restrictions. That's uh, very disappointing, to be honest with you. At this stage of the game, we should know better. A part of the rollbacks include shutting down bars, restaurants dropping occupancy limits down to 50%, and a suspension of elective surgeries. Beaumont Dr. Masante Levine believes this is a troubling sign. It's almost like we're starting over to a certain degree and I don't think we should be at this point obviously because the information has been distributed out there in terms of what to do, how to do it. While some health leaders believe the restrictions are needed, one local leader is looking to take matters into his own hands. I will be requesting uh, for them to take a look for the governor or Dr. Hellerstad, whoever's making those decisions to consider uh, excluding Hardin County businesses from that order. Hardin County Judge Wayne McDaniel says his biggest concern is for businesses may not be able to recover from another round of restrictions. I just don't think that the uh, data is there, at least not in Hardin County, that uh, we should re be restricting our grocery stores and our restaurants back to 50 percent when there's not any evidence through our contact tracing investigations that have been done to show that anybody has gotten sick with COVID in any of those places. Last week, Tyler County became the latest area forced to roll back. Now, all of Southeast Texas will join them. The new rules will go into effect tomorrow at 8 o'clock in the morning, which includes all of Southeast Texas. Tomorrow, county judges will talk with the state about any questions they might have. Reporting here live in Beaumont, Jordan James, 12 News. Thanks, Jordan.